guys, Brian Tong here at CES 2020, and here behind me, Samsung's Q950 TS. This is their new flagship television set for 2020, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing is a beauty. What's the biggest thing about it that makes it sexy? The infinity screen design. This thing is made up of 99% screen. You only find like a real, real tiny, tiny black bezel on the bottom of it, so it just looks like it. the image goes to the edges, you just lose yourself in it. It is beautiful. This is their 8K QLED screen. They have not. They're not talking about any, um, you know, local dimming zones or how many zones there are. They really want to focus on just the design of this TV. It is beautiful. Also, the thickness of this TV is only 15 millimeters. And what you'll see is you'll see some perforations in that frame that allows sound to come out from the TV. There are two active subwoofers on the back, so you will see those four speaker ports, but there's actually two subwoofers driving that. That's to create better sound from this TV design as well. If we talk about the guts inside of this, this is powered by their new Quantum AI AK processor, new for this generation. And the biggest thing is, obviously, everyone's seen this TV. They're like, 8K, we're going to hear 8K a lot here, but there's not really 8K content. Samsung has promised that they will be delivering 8K streaming content. They're also talking directly with YouTube to have 8K native streaming content in partnership with them to come to this TV, but there are no official dates when that's happening because really we need that content. But also, the solution that they did with last year's Q900 model is to have their own AI upscaling that takes the data, the imagery, and then scales it up so that you can get as close to 8K as possible with you know, maybe your 4K content, maybe your 1080p content. It's still gonna look great, and I will say that last year's TV, it did look pretty darn good, but again, for me, if we're talking 8K, I want that 8K native content on the TV. There's a lot of voice assistants that will be compatible with this. Obviously, if we're talking Samsung, you gotta have Bixby. One of the things they talked about was like singing Bix, telling Bixby, I wanna see a calm atmosphere, and then it displaying kind of some serene background. But the other big bonus is, for all you that love the Amazon Alexa platform or the Google Assistant, those will be compatible with this as well. And just like last year, AirPlay 2 from Apple, compatible with this TV set as well. Now, they didn't announce any pricing. We know that it'll be available sometime in 2020. The sizes for this TV will be 65, 75, and 85 inches. So there's their first look. Just an amazing infinity screen from Samsung. It's their Q950 TS, and it's coming in 2020.